Right now, the target 12 investigators with the latest on Rhode Island's new governor. Governor Dan McKee and Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos held the first of their new weekly news conferences yesterday to field questions from reporters. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi was in the room and joins us now with more. Ted, a lot of the governor's comments were overshadowed yesterday by the breaking news on the Chauvin verdict, but he did cover quite a bit of ground. He did, Kim. McKee's advisors have told us that as the pandemic subsides, they want to provide a regular forum for the new governor to take questions separate from the coronavirus briefings that happen every Thursday. And with federal stimulus money pouring in, we talked a lot about Rhode Island's finances. McKee defended his proposal in his budget to tax forgiven PPP loans over $150,000, and he questioned proposals to exempt $10,000 in unemployment benefits from being taxed. The wild card here for the General Assembly is, does the federal dollars allow you to offset that? And if not, then how are you going? To, what are you going? What adjustments you're going to make to the budget? Thirty million, seventy million, a hundred million dollars on the two, two two questions you just asked. Both those proposals do have some momentum in the General Assembly, but legislative leaders haven't committed to either of them right now. And Ted, you also learned a little bit more about the governor's plans for that billion-dollar windfall of federal money. That's set to come to Rhode Island under President Biden's relief law. Yes, people might remember, Brian, we did a Target 12 report on this last month. Billions of dollars coming to Rhode Island, including over $1 billion in direct relief just for the state government. McKee told us he's still waiting for detailed guidance from Washington on how to use the money, but he's going to seek public input on how to spend it. We're going to create this forum that we're going to talk about a, a Rhode Island 2030 plan, what that, what that would look like. What would Rhode Island look like uh, using, the, using the, um, uh, the resources that are currently uh, coming into the state, but also projecting out that there's going to be significantly more. And of course, it's not just the state. Municipalities and school districts will be getting over a billion dollars combined, too, so it's just a lot of money. And Ted, on the topic of the pandemic, Target 12 has been crunching the numbers on vaccinations in Bristol County, Massachusetts. So can you tell us a little bit about the picture there? Yeah, our colleague Tolly Taylor's been digging into this, and our analysis shows New Bedford and Fall River rank near the bottom of all Massachusetts communities for getting shots into arms at this point. So Tolly took those findings to the mayors of the two cities, and he'll have their reactions coming up live at 5. Ted, just some of the stories your team's tracking right now. Our thanks to you for joining us at 4 today. Good to be here.